In today's video, we're going to be looking at robotic lawn mowers. Now, these things make a big claim. They say you'll never have to mow the lawn again. But is that really true? Now, over the years, many of these have come out and they totally failed. But in this video, we're going to look at one in depth, how it's installed, and all the things you want to consider if you're ever even thinking about buying one of these. 20 years ago, if someone told you you could get a robot to clean your house, you'd never believe it. But today, many of us have those robotic vacuums in our homes and we use them all the time. So the idea of never mowing your lawn again seems pretty simple. You'd put one of these robots outside and it would cut the grass. But reality of this was very different and so many companies made these and went out of business or they just stopped selling them altogether. You might be surprised to know that even Honda makes a robotic lawnmower and very few people bought it and you just never see it out there. Now iRobot who makes all the vacuum cleaners announced that they had a brand new robotic lawnmower called the Terra. And it had some really advanced features, but unfortunately they were so advanced that it must have been impossible to make because they've never been able to release it. But fortunately, I was able to try out a robot mower that you can actually buy now. It's made by Works and it's called the Landroid. But before you break out your wallet, you need to understand what you're getting into with this or any kind of robotic mower. First consideration is how do you keep one of these robot lawn mowers in your yard so that it doesn't wander? Now that's done by using a boundary wire. This is the same technology that an invisible dog fence uses. Now the pluses of this is it's very reliable and for the most part it's actually easy to install because you don't even have to bury the wire. Now I'm like everybody else, I wanted to see this thing mow right away. So what I did is I followed the directions and I actually just put the wire on top of the grass. Now this sounds kind of silly, you'd think it wouldn't work, but it really does. I used the included stakes, I went around my yard, and in about two hours I was done. Now this is the best way to start because it lets you know that your mower's working correctly and the key is that your layout is working correctly. And then once you've used your mower for a while and you're happy with it, you can go back and decide to bury it if you want. Now many people never do, but if you want protection from things like aerators and lawn rakes, it's a good idea to put it under the ground, but at least you'll know that when you're going to dig, you're only going to do it one time. A lot of people dig their wire right away and find out they made a big mistake and then unburying it is no fun. And what about using one of these that doesn't use a wire at all? Well, unfortunately, that's hard to do because there are no mowers available like that. There's been a lot of talk about them, including iRobot's Terra, but none of them have actually been able to come to market important part of your installation is you need some sort of a base for the mower to dock because to make this fully automated the mower needs to be able to charge each day or during the day if it's mowing for a long time so once you have this installed it really will mow on its own every day and it will self charge when it's done so it's a pretty cool design that actually works all robot mowers don't have bags. They're going to mulch the grass, which is fine because it allows them to keep mowing continuously. But what's cool about this Works Landroid is you can actually cut from 1.6 inches all the way to 4 inches tall. Now that's very unusual for robotic mowers to cut that high, but Works was able to do that by making the mechanism itself rise out of the mower. Now I've been testing this mower for two weeks straight and I've run it multiple times a day and there's actually been very little grass buildup. but when it comes to maintenance you do want to do a few things to these machines. You can either use a paintbrush like this to dust them off or you can use a bottle brush and I found that this gets in a little bit better. Now a lot of people are never going to do any maintenance and it's probably just fine but for me I like to keep things working and this was pretty easy to do. Now in terms of blade changes, you can see that this model uses three little small, almost like razor blades, and they're actually safe because if they hit something hard, they just fold back. And if you have to replace them, it's really quick and you just need a Phillips head screwdriver and they come right off. When it comes to safety, these robot mowers are actually pretty good. This Works Landroid has a few features to make it a lot safer. Now first you've got a giant stop button on the top, so if anything happens that you don't want at any time, you just reach over and press that button and everything on the mower stops. But the better and more important one is the automatic mechanism. The front of this mower actually has a special bumper, but when the bumper touches something, it immediately stops the mower and then it will change direction. Now this works well if it runs into a post or a fence or even a person. And if you want to make the mower even smarter, you can add this optional accessory. This is a type of radar that actually mounts on the top of the Landroid, and now it's kind of got a set of eyes. It can see ahead of itself, so instead of making an impact and then change in direction, it can actually stop that and move before it even touches it. 
The biggest question of all is, does it actually mow the lawn and how does it do overall? Now, when I installed this, I was so excited because I love technology, I love lawn care, and I love robots, but inside, I didn't think this was really gonna work and I was sure the machine was gonna get hung up on some sort of an obstacle, one of the slopes in my yard, or some other issue. Now there's a lot of negatives when it comes to robot mowers. Now they might not be an issue, but you want to understand what they are. And the first one is the price. Robotic mowers are expensive. They start at about $800 and go up. Now the works is a great value and they give you a lot for the money and the machine actually works. But there are many mowers out there that start at two grand and they go way up. So for a lot of people that price is just way beyond getting one. But for others, you might be paying somebody to cut your grass each week. And surprisingly, this could actually pay for itself. But when it comes to stripes with a robot mower, you're not going to get the ones you're used to. A regular mower, you're going to go back and forth and you'll get those nice defined lines. A robotic mower goes around randomly and you're going to get kind of star lines, but they're not as bad as you would think. This mower only weighs just a few pounds, so it's not putting a lot of pressure on the grass. And that means the lines are not really visible. Now, early in the morning, you are going to see them if it's cutting, but later in the day, for the most part, you won't. We don't really know how long they're going to last. Now, Works makes a lot of stuff, and they've made these mowers for a number of years, so you hope they're going to stick around. But these mowers may not last the five or ten years that you're used to with a traditional mower, or even longer. So that's a real concern for somebody if you're going to be spending the money on one of these. Theft is another big problem for any robotic mower because if somebody sees this thing running around your yard and it looks pretty cool, they might want to grab it and run because they're not going to know that there's security measures built in. It's got a password along with a GPS tracker so you can find it anywhere in the world. But the problem is when someone steals it, they might smash it or just throw it out and you might never get it back again. Cleanups are another big negative about any robotic lawnmower. They don't have any way to bag or really do a cleanup. So if you don't have leaves or trees or anything like that, this thing will be fine and you won't ever have to mow again. But if you need to do any type of a yard cleanup, you're going to have to have some other piece of machinery or you will have to do some raking. A lot of companies use proprietary batteries that you can't even change without going to a dealer. Now, fortunately, the Works did it a lot differently. They just used their regular battery. And these batteries have been pretty good. They're affordable, and you can just easily swap it yourself. Now, the bottom line is that the Landroid did a great job. It didn't just get the grass cut. It really looked good, and I didn't have to do anything the entire time it was running. Now, personally, I actually love mowing the lawn. I do it every single day if I could, but for somebody who doesn't, this could be a great option. But at the very least, I hope this video gave you some ideas about robotic mowers and the pros and the cons that go along with them. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.